it's uh, generally unfair that there's a narrative that when government or an ANC politician is caught, um, the media makes a big deal out of it and they use the word corruption. When it's private sector doing things that are wrong, we use words like collusion. We should call it what it is. It's corruption. It cost the country. It affected the currency. Many lives were affected. So I think the banks have to account just as much as we'd make politicians or government departments account when something of this nature is revealed. Fixing prices, for example, is something China's been doing for a very long time now. And they've, ach, not prices, currencies. It's something a country such as China has been doing for a very long time now. And it's a policy that's been working for them. So... The fact that the banks gained unfair advantage for, for that is something that, that the courts of the land should, 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 should be um, d d determining. That should, it shouldn't be my opinion. We have to give them a little bit of time to, to, to hear their side of the story a little more uh, uh, about the, this whole situation. I will be interested in seeing um, a live inquiry in parliament, like, like the, the ones that we had seen recently with other institutions. I don't have faith in my banks anymore because of... I don't have faith in banks anymore because interest rates constantly increase and we don't even know why. You are not even sure what you put in is what you'll get out. I don't trust them anymore.